the sun is sunning on my plants isn't that pretty isn't that pretty my bedroom plants are enjoying this if you remember I shared this baby when I put it in here she's doing well some possibly will have roots by now I'll see I don't know we'll check because some are already deep under others are not so I don't know and they are still growing <laughs> that is still going so I don't know what's going to happen we'll see and look at her she's pretty she is pretty and then her she is enjoying two sides of the same coin i guess <laughs> she gets to enjoy the morning sun from this side and the evening sun from this side so that is good and that is me hi but yeah so this is good i need to help this one out because yeah her leaves are dying are yellowing obviously this is all from not watering her enough or efficiently optimally i don't know but have a look at this my voice is literally vanishing on me right now oh look at that pretty baby look at that she looks so pretty she looks so pretty look at this baby she's enjoying double the sun oh look at this leaf guys do you see her i know this is just a regular plant but do you see the variegation i love a philodendron brazil she has good variegation and i thought when this leaf was coming out it's going to make this plant very yellow more more variegation than the green but apparently not because this leaf is promising too looks like she's about to give me good leaves i need to give her a trellis i need her to continue growing up because as you can see the smaller leaves were very small and then she started growing bigger and bigger leaves slowly getting there so we're going to help her out this one she's facing the sun with one of a leaf i don't know if this is working i might have to move her a bit away from the sun because it seems like she doesn't like too much sunlight because when she didn't have do you see how big this leaf is this is before giving her too much sun and she was sitting over there around so it would just be on the side and it worked but my beautiful beautiful Hoya plant loves the sun. Do you see the leaves? And also she loves hanging on this trellis looking thing. Look how big these leaves are compared to the beginning. This is when I used to celebrate the leaves. And then boom, I now have more. And she's also giving me a new shoot whilst continuing growing on this one this one is just going like where are you going where are you going you should just stay here anyway guys i have flu or something something is on my throat it started last night and my voice is going slowly slowly just disappearing so you never know what will happen to me i may not have a voice this weekend so i'm trying to just show you my little babies before i lose all my voice <laughs> So this will be your mini, your mini hello chit chat check in, plant check in, and can we say I have not changed or improved my behavior when it comes to caring for plants? Because all the plants that I was supposed to care for even better before they are still in need of my care. But we also have her. Look at how she looks. She has been growing. See? She's growing new leaves. And she has this one. 
that has just been going. And I'm like, okay, should I put you very close to the sun so that you give me more variegation? I think so. Because you see this variegation she gave me when she was still brand new. This was the first leaf, I think, she gave me when she came here. This was, uh, I maybe it was this one, the smaller one. This is pretty big. Because I remember her having this leaf. So yeah, I think this was the first. Then we moved on to this. But yeah, guys, aren't they pretty? And I decided to propagate the very top leaves of my philodendron Peru. I don't think that's a good idea because we'll see if the roots show up and new shoots show up. But this is just an experiment. We'll see. I like the bottle though. If you watched my Goodwill mini haul, you would have seen this bottle, including the price is still there. But who gets a bottle for $2? I don't know. I could have just used a Coca-Cola bottle, but whatever. Whatever. Anyway this is all right let's see what's what else is here she has been growing good leaves as well this is a monstera she's been growing beautiful beautiful leaves if you have seen some of the pictures that i've been taking just randomly and posting this has been growing well she's growing bigger leaves now i'm loving her for that and let me show you my cutie cutie little baby look at my babies this is me propagating this was me all me oh my god and all i did was take the shoots from the banana plant and pu put them in there on top of the soil and water once in a while and this is what we get that's what we have so i'm excited for that um and then i have of course we always have more and more uh, pathos plants because who knows what happens to one this one might even die before anything but i wanted one pathos plant that is just this um, marble queen version just growing on it i'm going to have to remove the yellowing leaf that's one of the oldest leaves let's remove it since we're already here Let's remove it because I apparently I don't do the things that I say I would do. So look at this leaf. All oh, the sun just hitting it and giving it. Oh, oh, look at this leaf. Look at that. I'm loving her. I'm loving her. I just don't have enough voice to express myself. Look at her. So this is the mama. This is the child because this plant was not growing at all. I was like, let me just cut. As soon as it showed one vine coming out like this i just cut there and put it in water immediately because i was like this plant is growing so slowly i don't know what to do with it so i just cut it but look at it i love this plant so much i love variegated plants say what you want to but variegated plants but before we before we get carried away with variegated plants anyway let me just show you my milky plant this is one of my oldest plants in this house i've had this plant since 2019 it will die leaves will die off and we start again and we continue that's what we do for a living over here we do that together but she's been growing new leaves as you can see these beautiful beautiful leaves see that she's growing to the side now because i didn't want her to grow tall going up because it grows upwards too but i didn't want her to because i don't have room i don't have enough room for all the plants oh, guys wait look at this look at this variegation look at that do you know the things i appreciate in life is the simplest simplest things oh my god Look at that variegation. Look at this leaf. Uh, oh, she looks so delicious. Look at how small she was before. Do you see that? She was smaller. And then the more she dr dr dropped down, the more she was dropping down and hanging, the more she grew bigger leaves. Now she's all the way 
down here without sunlight she doesn't get to enjoy the sun so she's giving us very tiny leaves but they are still compact they're close enough together not too far um i'm just going to hang her in here so that she comes back up do you see that she's gonna come back up we'll see what happens you just have to let them be i guess you just have to let them be oh i also forgot to show you our philodendron pink princess she's also struggling and being choked by the hoya plant over here i think i have to just move her from this area i'm so sorry baby girl i took this baby from the mom way too early now look at what's going on now the leaves they don't come out this is why people used to do this thing of removing the the child like helping the leaf uh come out because what is this what is this okay this is me trying to help ah i did it i did it i did it i did it this one eh, there's no way we can help you you're done girl there's no way so this is what she is now this is what she looks like sorry baby sorry i'm gonna put her over here she just sit over there yeah you can sit over there and then you come back and oh, look at this you see that leaf is facing that way well these ones are facing this way how was it before i think it was this way yeah it was more like this we'll keep it this way for now so that i go bring the trellis and then we should be good and this one is facing this way just keep it that way and then i wanted to talk about the fact that my philodendron brazil is growing very much compact together new leaf after new leaf here she looks so cute she looks so pretty she doesn't have like very big leaves but whenever you give her somewhere to hold on to you can tell that these leaves the ones you're looking at over here they are not as big as the ones over here only because i gave her a bit of room to grow a bit of something to hold on to while she's growing actually i'm giving her this trellis i mean hold on to the edge of this thing sorry I can't, you can't see that too but i'm trying to make them come back up see this they're just here hanging i cut it before we have to cut it again i guess but oh uh, where are you going okay let's give you room let's give you room there we go whatever happens to you happens we gave you room okay i wanted to also show you my little teapot baby she has been growing slowly but surely oh, look at this you know i get distracted easily in life if it's adhd or whatever version of something okay we got it i guess because i just focus on a few things at a time okay there we go especially plants distract me so much more all right now i was trying to show you this baby look at her leaves uh, look at her i hope the camera will pick it up because do you see the leaves this baby was not growing as fast as i thought it would it wasn't do you see the distance between it wasn't growing as fast and i was like ah uh, so what do i do with you and then i just let her sit on this hoping it will kind of it actually did it was supposed to just come back up and then fall so that kind of worked oh it worked it worked anyway i love this mini teapot baby she's giving me a little baby on the side she gave up she gave up on me she has given up oh this is trying to see if there's water actually this has been working as oh there's water in there 
whoa this is so good so this baby has been sitting in water the whole time like she get moistened you see there's water at the bottom why hasn't she died i'm shocked i'm actually shocked because she's been sitting in water the whole time whole time sitting in water this is this has been the case for oh <laughs> for months and months at least since I got her, because as soon as I got this teapot, I put this plant in here and I never changed. <gasps> okay, the last bit over here. Look at that. Look at her. She's enjoying the sun. Her leaves are enjoying the sunset. These ones, they look at the sun, which is pretty good. They look at the sunset, yet the morning sun is on the other side, but they enjoy that. And we have my other pathos we always have standby plants okay always do she is a mixed one and she's looking pretty she's so full too like what if anything happens to the other ones we always have another one okay we always have another one since we're already doing this let's just show you everybody i guess look at this baby look at this baby look at that baby look at her growing up now she's been growing so well so well i'm so impressed i don't know what to do with her i'm just like girl you started so small i bought this plant when it was like this height like from here to here that's it now look at it it has developed different shoots from the first one i get all oh, this goodness oh this goodness can you focus thank you and you know i used to think this would be my favorite favorite plant in the world guys i don't know i don't know i'm not good at remembering to deal with this you know look at it curling in there just like the child the mama is curling too i'm not good i'm not good at this at all i'm not so i'm going to put another trellis on top and i was thinking i'm just going to remove this because i thought it was going to suck in all the water and everything and allow the plant to have more roots in there but i think i'm going to do like a pole and then put the moss on the pole and then tie that and see what happens i hope that would work if it doesn't yeah whatever i would have tried so we're going to try that next and we have a leaf a, an old leaf here that has been hanging out isn't she pretty <laughs> we love when nature does this too it doesn't matter it's okay for you to lose some leaves it's been forever since you lost one so it's okay yeah so i think that's it this was a whole ass vibe i guess um i got this from when i got my uh thai constellation that is called the place is called coals plants cores coals coals plants <laughs> so yeah anyway that's what you get i have a new baby coming this is one of my oldest plants that i got when i was still an intern years and years and years ago over five years ago now how is that crazy isn't that crazy i was an intern over five years ago and this was one of my very first plants to ever own back then 2019 and now she's here she's growing with me and we keep moving look at this i bought her when she was so tiny she's been behaving ever since i put her in this pot she's been behaving and i also haven't been playing around with it too much so she's been acting like a normal house plant and we have you we have her she is good she's doing well she almost killed me with stress one time and these are new leaves as you can see this was a new leaf that developed right before i changed the soil back then when uh, when i was stressed about it because she was dying and these are newer leaves and they are slightly bigger which is good and these are also newer leaves that we got recently oh my god this sun wow this sun is something else 
this sun is something else there we go and just so you know we might not even edit this video it will just come up as is because why should we edit let's just leave our lives unedited now the thing is i have so many clothes everywhere around me so i'm not going to show you the one plant on the other side we have one more plant that i'm not going to show you scooch 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 there it is there is the plant there it is she lives on this wall and she grows with this house <laughs> we'll see what happens when the day that i decide to remove her from the wall as you can see we already have some markings over there yeah we'll see we'll see when we get there for now this is what we get this is what we get and these are my hats all my hats are over here and this is my rubber plant this leaf got bent so bad when i got too excited uh two win two summers ago i got too excited and put my plants outside and we burnt the leaves but now they all stay inside i only garden outside I don't put them outside during summertime even though i can i have like two plants outside right now only because they were misbehaving but they've been doing so well through went through summer so i don't know if i should remove them and and put them back in the house because i don't want bugs i don't want pests i also need to buy insect soap so i have to go to a nursery and get that when i do my life will be way easier than it is right now it'll be way way easier so yeah thank you so much for watching my video i hope you come back i hope you like comment share subscribe and just let me know how are your plants doing are you still a plant person in 2024 the year is almost done so are you still doing this thing of gardening and plants and doing that oh it was just a pandemic thing did we finish it and end it, it there i don't know let me know i can't wait to hear from you very soon i'll talk to you very soon too my voice better be back because right now i'm using my throat voice you know is that level i hope it's good too i hope it's good because i'm breathing and talking at the same time it's like all at the same level i don't know how to explain it it's different anyway i'll talk to you very soon i'm tired just got back from work it's friday i need to rest so i'll post this video maybe today maybe tomorrow yeah you'll watch it this weekend for sure so it's friday the 13th guys i'm going to watch a movie i am going to watch the terrifier terrifier 2 because i watched terrifier 1 and i wasn't so scared it's just i don't like clowns but i wasn't too scared so we'll see terrifier 2 we'll see how that ends so i'm going now i will go make myself some soothing tea and sit and enjoy a good movie a very terrifying movie so bye yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye. I appreciate you.